So gene transfer to bacteria often involves small circles of DNA into which genes can be inserted. State the name of a small circle of DNA used for DNA transfer in bacteria. And this is easy, you need to know that it's a plasmid. A plasmid is a round circular piece of DNA which, uh, which can be modified so that genes can be inserted into there. And you can use this to start producing uh, proteins artificially. Number two, outline the steps of gene transfer, including the names of enzyme used. Now, I didn't give myself enough room here, but we're going to go through four different steps, okay? The first step um, is breaking apart that sticky little plasmid. So you use restriction enzymes to cut that DNA plasmid. That's the first step, restriction enzymes. Now, the second step is that... Uh, the gene to be transferred is then put into the plasmid, so it's it's manoeuvred so that it's in the right position for um, augmentation or for addition into that particular plasmid. So the third step is that the sticky ends are present on either side of the target gene, and then this allows complementary base pairing to occur. Because just because you have the gene in there doesn't mean that it's stuck within the plasmid itself. You need extra enzymes to copy-paste or to stick those genes in. And that's where the fourth step comes in, which DNA ligase. This is the enzyme which causes the sticky ends to be stuck down within the plasmid itself. So DNA ligase joins the gene to the rest of the plasmid. Third question, discuss the potential benefit and possible harm of one named example of gene transfer between species. The key thing about this question is that you need to read the question and show that it's a named uh, example. So I've decided to talk about the transfer of a herbicide resistance gene uh, to corn from the bacteria Bacillus thuringiensis, and it's it's annoying uh, having to remember the the actual name of where the gene comes from. But once again, you need to read the question and act accordingly as well. So benefits and disadvantages are very easy. The, the hardest bit about this question actually is just remembering the name of the gene uh, to be, or the name of the source and the name of the gene as well. So the benefit is that because you have um, you because you have a more efficient way of growing the corn, you have an increased yield of corn. Um, a disadvantage, on the other hand, is that uh, this gene which protects from the herbicide may escape from the corn and into uh, an undesirable plant, such as a weed on the side, causing so-called super weeds. How are we going to kill these weeds? It's very difficult to, because they have inbuilt resistance. And this is how I answered this particular question. Thank you.